Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about normal probability curve. Normal probability curve is a bell shaped curve and a graph representing a distribution of scores. Laplace and Gauss derived the normal probability curve independently. So, the curve is also known as Gaussian curve. This bell shaped curve is called as the normal probability curve. Graph of the probability density function of the normal distribution is a continuous bell shaped curve symmetrical above the mean is called normal probability curve. In statistics, it is important because it is the distribution of many naturally occurring variables. For example, intelligence of 8th grade students. The distribution of the means of samples drawn from most parent population is normal or approximately so when the samples are sufficiently large. Therefore, normal curve has great significance in social science and behavioral science. In behavioral measurement, most of the aspects approximates to the normal distribution. So that normal probability curve or most popularly known as NPC is used as a reference curve. Some of the characteristics of normal probability curve are the curve is bilaterally symmetrical. It means that the size, shape and slope of the curve on one side of the curve is identical to the other side of the curve. The curve is asymptotic. This means the extreme ends of the curve tends to touch the baseline but never touch it. The three central tendencies mean, median and mode fall at the middle point and they are numerically equal. The point of inflection occur at plus or minus 1 standard deviation unit. The curve changes from convex to concave in relation to the horizontal axis. The total area of the normal probability curve is divided into plus or minus standard deviations. The total of normal probability curve is divided into 6 standard deviation units. From the center, it is divided into 3 positive standard deviation units and 3 negative standard deviation units. The y-ordinate represents the height of the normal probability curve. The normal probability curve is unimodal. That is, the curve has only one peak point. The height of the curve symmetrically declines. The first and the third quartile that is Q1 and Q3 are at equal distance from Q2 or median. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.